Are you ready, true believers? Okay, maybe you're not ready for this. I don't think anybody's ready for what I'm about to do right now. But in case you want to know. Yeah, I'm still doing the Devil's Playhouse or the Playground or whatever the fuck it is. And this is Sam and Max. <laughs> Free Mass Police! Yeah, for those who are wondering, I was going to do um, Dodoro for the PS2, otherwise known here in the States as Blood Will Tell. But the problem with th that was, graphically, it's all fucked up. Seriously, the, the when I was running it through... technically what this game had I don't know I, tr I tried it and just it just up fart snared upon itself so therefore <laughs> graphically couldn't deal with it and you know instead of me trying to fix it I just said fuck it so I got a fallback and namely Sam and Max Happens to be that fallback because last year I've done um, the first two episodes. And now, hopefully this time, considering that I've given myself more than enough time, I'm going to do the other three. And I'm doing it quite a bit early. So yes, this is episode three. They stole Max's brain! If you remember from episode two... That's what happened after the tomb of Samumak. So, yeah, we're going to do this, and I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way, the old-timey point-and-click. That means I'm going to be using mouse. Instead of controller, I'm going to use mouse. So... I do have my handy dandy map on hand, so, you know, you know. So, without further ado, it's time to find Max's brain, whoever they are. Well, yes, I do want to start. Thank you for asking. Don't mind the flicker. They claim this is the the third game is the weakest, but I don't care what they think. It's Sam and Max, damn it. Simon Max in the Devil's Playhouse. And what have we learned? Never give Max a gun. Moving on. Thanks to our magnificent brains, most of us live out our lives under the delusion that we are in control. But are our brains truly in control? Makes you think, doesn't it? Engrossed in the thrilling cinematic exploits of their ancestors, the freelance police have had no time to ponder these eternally vexing questions. 
that in mere moments, they and you will be plunged headfirst into these murky philosophical depths when Sam returns from his ill-timed bathroom break to discover they stole Max's brain. Oh, Max. Little buddy. and raisinets. I tried to remember what Flint Paper told me about interrogating suspects. Raisinets? Rule number one, don't let the suspect control the conversation. Get him talking, then surprise him. Interrupt him with a question, or call him a liar. Freak him out. And if all else fails, bring little Miss Persuasion out for a stroll. Um. Stolen from the desk of Flint Paper investigation. Pony. Try interrupting the suspect story with a question or a threat? Well, actually, I think it was more of a boom, really. Really, because I distinctly heard it more like a bam. Anyway, someone knocked us out with a booming and or... You lie! Why are you lying? We're not lying! Someone snuck up on us and knocked us out! How do you think we wound up on the floor like that? Okay. What else can you tell me? Well... That's the last thing we remember until you woke us up and started snarling at us. Um, yeah, that's the last thing we remember. Rule number two, timing is everything. When you hear the suspect lying, that's when you jump in and accuse him. When you interrupt different parts of a suspect's story, you get different responses. The right interruption at the right time can break the suspect. I was totally unconscious the whole time. Well, I certainly didn't see anything interesting, no siree, Bob. What are you talking about? Well, you see, when the brain loses consciousness, it loses the ability to process and retain memory. So I then... already know that. Go on. Well, that's about it. Can we go now? The apocalypse is at hand, and we've got plans to make. What happened to Max? Talk! We don't know. One second we were guarding the devil's toy box, and bam! Out went the lights. Well, actually, I think it was more of a boom, really. Really, because I distinctly heard it more like a... <laughs> Go ahead. Put us out of our misery. Since we've lost the devil's toy box, we might as well be dead anyway. Too easy. Keep talking. Well... That's the last thing we remember until you woke us up and started snarling at us. Yes. Um, yeah, that's the last thing we remember. You know, I was totally unconscious the whole time. And I certainly didn't see anything in her. Skip it! What happened to Max? Talk! We, we don't that know! Slap you again? One second we were guarding the devil's toy box, and bam! Out went the lights! Well, actually, I think it was more of a boom, really. Really, because I distinctly heard it more like a band. You say the lights went out? That light was joy. And it's getting snuffed out all over the city, dragging us all into a sea of blackness. What? Can we go? Your grandma thighs are really bringing us down. <laughs> and we're in a doomsday coach. No, keep talking. Well, that's the last thing we remember until you woke us up and started snarling at us. Um, yeah, that's the last thing we remember. Oh, yeah? I was totally unconscious the whole time. Well, I certainly didn't see anything interesting. <laughs> Go ahead. Put us out of our misery. Since we've lost the devil's toy box, we might as well be dead anyway. Too easy. Keep talking. Well, that's about it. Can we go now? The apocalypse is at hand, and we've got plans to make. 
What happened to Max? Talk! We, we don't know! One second we were guarding the devil's <laughs> toy box, and BAM! Out went the lights! Well, actually, I think it was more of a boom, really. Really? Because I... Hurry it up! Well, that's the last thing we remember until you woke us up and started snarling at us. Um, yeah, that's the last thing we remember. Yo, know, I was totally unconscious the whole time. Liar! All right, all right. I came to before, Jebediah, just in time to hear the telltale sound of a brain being removed from a bunny. What? Obadiah, why didn't you do anything? I was afraid. Afraid that he'd remove my brain, too. Who? Who took Max's brain? It was the space gorilla. Skunk Abe. Of course. He must have been released from the penal zone when the toy box was stolen. Monkey I'm dick! I'm so sorry! I'm not half as sorry as that brain-stealing space ape's gonna be when I catch up with him. Rule number three, mole men are easy. To crack the tough nuts, you'll need information to prove your case. Sometimes you gotta ask around to get the dirt on the doers. Now, go get them! Sometimes info from one suspect will help you break another. Remember to interrupt at the right time to get the info you need. Good luck. I wrote a mental note to thank Flint at Max's funeral and got ready to squeeze some punks. By the way, it's 5 acts, so therefore... General Skunky. I should have known. That space ape had wanted Max's brain ever since he found out it was special. Now that special brain was gone, and I was cut loose, drifting in the neon current, hoping for a lucky break. That's kind of creepy, man. The hell? Oh, ugly. You! You're one of Skunk Ape's goons! Where's your boss? What did he do to my little buddy? I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Copy since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. I'll never forget his final terrified howl as it echoed across the dimensional boundaries. Anyhow, since Skunk Copy's imprisonment, I've been reevaluating my life choices. I've abandoned violence for a career as a science student. It's a very fulfilling low temp. <laughs> Are you trying to threaten me with that? Maybe. You are aware that my ultra-dense space gorilla hide renders me impervious to your puny earth bullets, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. Where were we? Enough about me. You should uh, talk to the rat. Yes, the rat. He certainly seems plugged into the ins and outs of this gloriously filthy metropolis. Again. Where's Skunk A? I already told you. I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Copy since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. I'll never forget his final terrified howl. <coughs> are you trying to threaten me with that? Maybe. You are aware that my ultra-dense space gorilla hide renders me impervious to your puny earth bullets, that right? That shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, it does. Where were we? Since Skunk Copy's imprisonment, I've been reevaluating my life choices. I've abandoned violence for a career as a science student. <laughs> Could you stop waving around your ineffectual earth weapon? It's very distracting. I can't help it. I'm a dog on the edge. <laughs> as I was saying, enough about me. You should uh, talk to the rat. Yes, the rat. The Rat! What rat? Frankie the rat. He traffics in stolen merchandise and tawdry gambling rings. Where can I find him? He hangs out on the corner of Vinny and Vidi in the Latin Quarter. Really? <laughs> Moving on. Frankie the rat. The name left a bad taste on my tongue and an itchy sensation in my boxers. Still, there wasn't a road more plugged into the bad wiring of the city.
some time later. Missing brain, and someone thinks you might know something about it. Uh, brain, huh? Uh, well, I did see something unusual and brain related a little while back. Spell! <laughs> I was flick. given directions to a confused tourist. Poor fella was wandering around and saw it. Where? <laughs> hey, take it easy, big fella. I see you right over the other way, about two miles. Thanks. Frankie the Rat helping a tourist? It was absurd. Absurd like Max was, back when he had a brain. So imagine my surprise when I found Frankie's tourist wandering around the bad side of town. Is Ali yours, Finn? You, foreign guy, what's your story? Ooh, an American police shakedown. How thrilling. What? Yeah, it's a real honor. Now, what do you know? Well, about an hour ago, I was getting directions to the museum district from one of your colorful local rats. And Frankie sent you here? Yeah. A dirty lion rat. You know, back in Europe, I had so many worries about your country's rats, but this Frankie was so gracious and helpful. Anyhow, I was about to give him a tip for the help, when all of the south in the bedroom leave a Bachtaba Creek erupted in the middle of one of the asphalt fjords. At least I think it was better leave a Bachtaba Creek. It might have been more of an Urila Spoken. <coughs> Is that one of your famous American handguns? Fascinating! The we don't have any of these in Europe, you know. After the fight moved on, I discovered that someone had picked my pockets, leaving me empty-handed and evil skittled in a strange land. I left the scene of the crime, carrying nothing but the claws on my back. You know what else? I'm starting to think that this... It's a strange land, all right. Strange and dark and twisted and... Please stop! I'm already evil skittled enough! Sorry. Denada. Anything else? Let's hear your sad little story again, from the top. <laughs> Very well. Did you know back in Europe I had so many warnings about your country's rats, but this Frankie was so gracious and helpful. Anyhow, I was about to give him a tip for the help, when all of the south in the bedroom leave a Bachtaba Creek erupted in the middle of one of the asphalt fjords. At least I think it was better than leave a Bachtaba Creek. It might have been more of an Udina Spoken bundle up there, but I digress. After the fight moved on, I discovered that someone had picked my pockets, leaving me empty-handed and evil skittled in a strange land. I left the scene of the crime, carrying nothing but the claws on my back. You know what else? I'm starting to think that this isn't actually the museum district. Maybe I am mistaking the friendly rat's direction. People in this country are so intense! The tourists seemed like just another victim circle in the drain, but I knew there was more to the story. It was time to circle back and flush out the truth. So, we go back to Frankie. See what he knows. Frankie, what do you know? I was given directions to a confused tourist. To the museum district? Yeah, poor fella was wandering around in cycles. Don't lie to me, Frankie. I talked to your tourists, and it looks to me like you sent him over to the wrong side of town to get rolled by your rat pack. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but this conversation is over. I ain't saying nothing till I get some legal representation. Oh, really? Annoy with some people. 
trampling a rat's guy. Do you want a lawyer? Here's an attorney from Smith and Wesson. Okay, okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. Sheesh. Like you guessed, I gave the tourist directions to the bad side of town, but I was just winding them up, really. Hey, you ask me, the schmuck deserved it. Acting all the whole stinking city's wound up. Like a. Do you want me to finish my story, or do you want to go off on another depressing tangent? I'm not really sure. Anyway, when the big fight broke out, me, the tourist, and the other gorilla ducked down behind the crate, and I uh, picked their pockets. The tourist was loaded with high exchange European stuff. Other gorilla? What other gorilla? Believe it or not, it was another space ape. He was spinning a sign for some pet store, the poor schlub. So that dirty punk sign spinner did see Skunk Ape. Anyway. After the fight moved on, the tourist got a nice souvenir for his trouble, and I ski that back here. I bet. That's all I know, honest. That souvenir? Yeah, uh, something fell out of the funny hat guy's pocket, and the tourist scooped it up. What was it? I don't know, uh, something. So the tourist didn't leave empty-handed after all. So what now? Now we leave. Stick around. I may be back. I shall count the minutes. Oh boy, he's pretty peels. Okay, so. Back to the dark alley. Mm -mm. Yeah, dark alley. Repeat the phone. Let's run through it one more time and speak slowly. I'm an American. And I said <laughs> before, about an hour ago, I was getting directions to the museum district from one of your colorful local rats. And you know, back in Europe, I had so many warnings about your country's rats. No, no, no. <sighs> Now we're going back to Something the science. Something Frankie said about the tourist was sticking in my craw like a spoonful of peanut butter, chunky style. Chunky style? What? I'm back! Now where's Skunk Ape? I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Copy since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. Never forget his final terrified howl as it echoed across the unjustly. Don't make me chortle. When you get right down to it, we all deserve to get tossed into the penal zone. You, me, and the guy who delivers your deep dish pizzas, all of us bubbling over with sin and corruption. And... Is there a point to this, or are you just trying to get me depressed? Sorry, just thinking out loud. Where were we? As I was saying. Since Skunkapi's imprisonment, I've been reevaluating my life choices. I've abandoned violence for a career as a science fiction. You lie! No, it's true! I've abandoned a life of violence and conquest for an honest, peaceful job as a sign spinner. See? Ah, yes. So, where were we? <laughs> Enough about me. You should uh, talk to the rat. Yes, the rat. He certainly seems plugged into the ins and outs of this glorious little suit. You lie! There is no rat! Excuse me, have you seen this city? There's rats everywhere. Hey, don't you want to know about our baby iguana sale? Baby iguana? What the f- Baby iguana? Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm going back there. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunkapi since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. I'll never forget his final terrified howl as it echoed across the dimensional boundaries. Anyhow, since Skunkapi's imprisonment, I've been reevaluating my life choices. I've abandoned violence for a career as a science fan. Reevaluating your life choices? What does that even mean? Skunkapi's defeat made me take a really hard look at myself. 
Honestly, is there anything more pathetic than a middle-aged space gorilla waving his blaster around the galaxy like some kind of teenager? How about a dead partner? The only way to break the cycle was to just walk away. Now I have a wonderful job as a sign spinner and a girlfriend in the village. What? And I don't even have to shoot anyone. What? How nice for you. Enough about me. You should uh, talk to the rat. Yes, the rat. He certainly seems plugged into the ins and outs of this gloriously filthy metropolis. Hmm. It kind of feels weird, but it's like, oh, he's going, where is he going? I should have known the European silly accent was hiding something. Now it was time to show him how we did things here in the new world. Ooh, a repeat performance. Let's run through it one more time and speak slowly. I'm an American. As I said before. <laughs> About an hour ago, I was getting directions to the museum district from one of your colorful local rats. You know, back in Europe, I had so many warnings about your country's rats, but this freak... You lie! You're right, it was more like 57 minutes ago. Yeah, but you American police are stickler. What? Anyhow, <laughs> I was about to give him a tip for the help, when all of a sudden the bedroom leave a Tauber Creek erupted in the middle of one of the asphalt fjords. At least I think it was a bedroom leave a Tauber Creek. Might have been more of an Udila Spoken Spongler. Liar! Nein, nay, it really was a bedroom leave of October Creek. But more like a kleine bedroom leave of October Creek. But anyway, after the fight moved on, I discovered that someone had picked my pocket, leaving me empty handed and skittle skittled in a strange land. I left the scene of the crime, carrying nothing but the claws on my back. You know what else? I'm stuck. Don't play innocent with me, metric lover. The rat saw you pick up something after the fight. Now spill! Yeah, yeah, it's true. I took a souvenir from the fight. I didn't think anyone would notice. Here. Norrington. Who the heck is Norrington? I don't know. I don't know. Just don't hurt me. Jerk. <laughs> Americans are all animals. Animals. Finally, a clue. Norrington. The name rang fewer bells than a sleigh in July. Fortunately, it didn't need to. Tron, Tron, do your stuff. What do you mean not found in database? The Crime Tron requires additional clues to make an informed deduction. Clues? I haven't got time for clues. Max's body is starting to smell. Ew. <laughs> then maybe you should stop yelling at my girlfriend and start with the clue hyphen finding. <laughs> It's just a bad day for Sam all around, man. Hmm. Let's see. Where am I supposed to go now? Hmm. There's nothing left for me there. Nothing but a low-down lion rat. I'm back! Now where's Skunk Egg? I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Copping since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. Never forget his final terrified howl as it echoed. That story ain't gonna wash, Bonzo. Your pal Frankie told me all about how you and he hit from a fight between Skunk Ape and some other guy. <laughs> now, make with the lip flapping, and I better like what I hear. It's true. 
little pill of your earth minutes ago, I was fitting my sign for Frankie the Rat and the Tourist when General Skunkape came running down the street, chasing after a strangely garbed man. To my everlasting shame, I cowered behind it. Some days it seems like the whole world is chasing after me, and someone's tied together my shoelaces with regrets and betrayals. Um, that's pretty sad, but you don't have any shoes. It's a metaphor. Oh, anyhow, after the general and the stranger fled the scene, I discovered that he had dropped this. What? I'm surprised he didn't come back for it, but he appeared to be in some... I dropped something once. I think it was my innocence. Then I dropped <laughs> my compassion. Now I just drop punks. Is that supposed to be dark? It doesn't make sense. Sue me. Give me that toy! No! I need it to get back in General Skunkoffee's good graces! Once I return this artifact to the General, he'll forgive my temporary abandonment of his goals and welcome me back to his crew with open arms. Oh, how I've come to miss Ben. <coughs> that pitiful pop gun will never make me give up the rhinoplasty earth dog. Rhinoplasty? Weren't you paying attention? A few of your Earth minutes ago, I was spinning my sign for Frankie the Rat and the Tourist when General Skunkape came running down the street, chasing after a strangely garbed man. To my everlasting shame, I... You're lying! Why would I lie about seeing Skunkape after you just caught me in a lie about not seeing him? Sorry, lost my angry train of thought for a second. Continue! As I was after the general and the stranger fled the scene, I discovered that he had dropped this. I'm surprised he didn't come back for it, but he appeared to be in something of a hurry. Oh well. Give me that toy! No! I need it to get back in General Skunkapi's good graces! Once I return this artifact to the general, he'll forgive my temporary abandonment of his goals and welcome me back to his crew with open arms. Oh... How I've come to miss standing at my general's side these... Huh. You're fooling yourself, kid. What are you talking about? The only thing Skunk Ape's gonna welcome you with is a fistful of phasers. You can't go home again. You can't even get on the porch. What? You've tasted the apple, peed in the pool, put in the hand that rocks the cradle. What? You're a sign spinner to him now, and that's all you're ever gonna be. You're right. It's <laughs> open. No matter what I do now, I'll never soar through the galaxy at my general's side ever again. Um, I hate to tell you, but you're not a very good sign spinner either. Ooh, that's cold, I hated to see a grown gorilla cry, so I got in the car and looked for another lost soul to join me as I gazed into the abyss. Last time we saw the rhinoplasty toy, Max's special brain used it to turn into a bazooka. Now it was gonna lead me to the guy who stole that special brain. It wasn't exactly ironic, but I didn't care. Okay, Crime Tron, this is your last chance before I start looking for an upgrade. And that leads us to... Believe it or not... Come on, you obsolete hunk of junk. Talk! We're skunky. Them, no! Stop holding out on me! Get away from her, you brute. <laughs> Museum mostly natural history? <clears throat> Finally. Audiences across the country, they You're a monster, Sam. What have you become? The Museum of Mostly Natural History, the tarnished jewel of the city's once thriving museum district. Max and I always meant to visit, but we'd never gotten around to it. Now we were finally going to take in its thrilling and dubiously educational displays with a vengeance. If you say so.
I got nothing, folks. I really don't. All right, Skunky. It's time to pay the piper. Plus tax and applicable service fees. Where is he, man? I don't see shit. So the game save, you know what that means? I'm actually going to stop here, and in the next part, well, we're actually going to go into the museum, in which we already are at the museum, and um, see what we can find while we're here in said museum. Hopefully something, because I swear to God, I'm going to do this one bit of craziness at a time. So, yeah. More of Simon Max, episode three, right after this.